Look into my f***ing eyes, Darius Truxton, Keith Elwood from Gray's Road. Darius Truxton, you are the biggest piece of trash I've ever seen in my goddamn life, huh? I want you all to remember, this guy thought he was a tough guy. He thought he was sitting there on his little kitchen table with his dirty little vent that he hasn't cleaned in six years. How filthy can you be that you move into a friggin' apartment that's already full of roaches, bed bugs, rats? He literally has two rats holding up the Ethernet wire every time he wants to play his little Nintendo Switch games for his insult army to watch him on his goddamn stupid live Twitch stream, right? So he moves in and he thinks, he sees the dirty vent, he sees it. But he's like, you know what? It's not really my place. I'm just renting because, you know, Darius Trucks and on welfare, government assistance, collecting welfare checks, you know, all that stuff. He doesn't care where he is. He's living in filth. And he sees a dirty vent. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go out of my way to not clean the goddamn vent. Meanwhile, he live streams Power Wash Simulator. You f***ing lift me up off my ass. You lift me off my ass, man. You fucking get your f***ing hand away from my head. I'm going to kill you. Just leave me away from me, man. Chill out. Chill out, guys. Get this guy later for literally seven hours straight he's dwelling on his cat piss smelling premium futon right everything smells like cat piss he's eating tv dinners up the yin yang and he's sitting there playing freaking power wash simulator going like uh, uh, i don't care about the snakes uh, uh, they don't bother me sloth them doesn't bother me well guess what if i didn't bother you why did you go to team youtube on twitter and cry to them screenshotting my home video page and saying hey look guys look look guys this is all about me it's harassment bullying try screenshotting my home video page now prick i have the rotation going now there's no way in hell they're gonna be like oh no it's not all about you there youtube the fact that you cried and complained to youtube is enough queefy boy to admit that i do bother you i do own your life the snakes own your life level one online owns your life right you know this story where level one online got you fired from frank Lampard? what did you do let me ask one of the audience when my wedding amiibos see there's here's me there's isha and here's 8-Bit Eric, so he looks just like Big Fat Bowser. This is there. What did he do? What did Queefy Boy do after he got fired from the Frank, uh, from Franklin Empire? Yeah, you, what's your answer? He went to the docks on his pink tricycle and flood shorts and cried on the internet, the docks of Hamilton, cried on the internet with his stupid little freaking Mortal Kombat review talking about Cabal, Kano, Sub-Zero, Scorpion, Johnny Cage, and Sonya Blade. That's what he did. And then he came back to YouTube to tell his insult army, you got Dave C, so openly racist prick, and then beats his wife, beats his wife, drinks alcohol, comes on YouTube and laughs about it. He tells his little army, James Campbell, Cyan, Razor Salt, I didn't get fired. Here's the proof, guys. Here's a service.gov page uh, thing that I have here. I left. I didn't get fired. Yeah, good one there, Queefy boy. Then Heavy Metal Gamer Show, The Legend. The legend of Frank Calls calls Franklin Empire as Franklin Johnson inquiring about a ref. Friends, and then there you go, Queefers. You got fired because you misused company time. Instead of screwing in light bulbs or cardboard boxes like a good little teenager, you're sitting there in the break room with all the lights off talking about the snakes. The snakes don't bother you. Burying the snakes. No, no, no. We buried your life. Your whole life has been completely destroyed. This little friggin' dilemma in this facade that you pulled out for there for sa that long, Darius Truxton, for so long. Oh, the, the Darius Truxton army wins. Yeah, you had some friggin' homeless bum. Albert Menencock, all right? You got Ho you got Hobo Albo touching tips with Hobo Alba at the back of the friggin' dumpster of Jollibees because he's a homeless bum and he's friggin' giving BJs to men for money and food because he can't get a solid meal if his life depended on it. That's why Ho Albert Menencock sits outside Jollibee at the end of closing begging the workers to give him the scraps so he can shove it down his belly because he's turning into friggin' Nosferatu when the moon lights out. And then he turns into Nosferatu, starts live. What are you guys? What are you guys gonna do? You're gonna sit in the f***ing chat and type like please? Or you're gonna come up here and talk? Use your f***ing voice. Streaming. It's funny for the first five minutes, and then Cheetah Man, the mouth breather, comes on the panel and completely derails the stream, talking about stupid nonsense. For the love of God, Cheetah Man, wait till Albert Menen. Do not join a panel. Here, here's a here's a new rule, Cheetah Man. Don't join an Albert panel. 
uh, like in the first 30 minutes. No, no. After 30 minutes, when Albert Menenkuk is out of stamina because he has no calories in his stomach because he hasn't eaten all day, the guy friggin' boxes raccoons for the last piece of blueberry muffin in the dumpster. After 30 minutes has elapsed, then you can go on there, uh, Cheetah Man, and breathe through their mouth and bore up the stream, prick. Jesus friggin' Christ. And then you got friggin' Ricardo Cody, some friggin' failed father sitting there, friggin' leaves, leaves Brazil leaves his daughter and wife in Brazil for 15 years, comes to Brazil and never goes back for 15 years. I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened to Ricardo to the point where he never even went back to visit the goddamn daughter that he left behind and the wife that he left behind. Just sit there at 7-Eleven, serve your Slurpees, or and wrap, pack your f***ing bags, okay? You, you really have no intelligence. But it's okay, Ricardo. You're a filled father. There's another man to take your place. It's called your best friend who ended up freaking banging your ex-wife and taking care of your daughter. How does that one feel, prick? And stop lying that you don't admit it. You were drunk that one night. Either it was New Year's Eve or Christmas night. You were drinking wine. And I literally tuned in just as you said, guys, my best friend married my ex-wife. That's what I heard, prick, from your own goddamn mouth. Stop lying. All you do, Ricardo, is lie, 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 lie about the most meaningless things. Same thing like Queefy Boy. Lying about he got fired from Frank Lampard. One of the most pathetic things I heard is Darius Truxton, but that, when that video came up, when he friggin' got beat up, lifted up to the ground, what did Darius Truxton do? Grab the guy's crotch in defense, because he's a cock. We got that going on. And then he comes on YouTube, makes an alt account of the other guy that beat him up, and said, no, we're just playing. We're just having fun. Are you stupid? We're not going to believe that, Darius. Like, that guy has an account on YouTube, and he comes to your YouTube channel to defend Queefy Boy. Shut up. All right, prick. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard in my life. And then he got Darius Truxton proposing to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo toys, right? Give, give... Living up there in that hostile you live in, that hostel. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. There are 50 reasons why Ursha Gaming should marry Darius Truxton. Um, hey, moron, Ursha Gaming is a hot Norwegian chick with bright blonde hair. She looks cool and she friggin' plays video games. Who wouldn't want that? Do you know how many guys are after Ursha Gaming? Why the hell would she pick a queefy boy who's chinless from one angle, double chinch from another angle, loser? With friggin' piss smelling clothes, double XL that says property of the game chasers on it. You're such a cock that you go to the video game convention with a big property of the game chaser shirt on, friggin' looking at Alpha Omega Sin with the most cucked face I've ever seen. Your neck looks like Diglett. I can't even tell where the jaw and the chin starts. And you're sitting there at the uh, Pat the Idiot's Punk Pat. Ooh, ooh, pick me, Pat. Ooh, pick me, Pat. I wanna play Balloon Fight, Pat. I wanna play Ice Pocky, Ice Hockey, Pat. Ooh. Pick me a shot. <laughs> He's not picking you, prick. No one wants to sit beside you. You're probably sitting alone in the convention seats because the friggin' cat piss smelling emanating from her goddamn clothes. It's absolutely ridiculous, all right? So next time when you're laying in your goddamn sorry... Uh Slotham Point for Point Part 2. Your, your little bed, get your sorry carcass, pathetic carcass out of the goddamn mattress and go answer Apple One Agency's call to your freaking pay as you go phone and clean the goddamn turds out of urinals out of that stupid and disgusting East Warehouse prick. And then you got Cyan Radisol, some genetic freak, some vile, disgusting vomit demon that smells like poo. Cyan Radisol literally got accused of smelling like poo by a homeless bum named Albert who literally lives in garbage and sleeps in garbage. <laughs> Do you know how bad cyan smell would have to be if a homeless bum is saying that cyan smelt bad? That's ridiculous. You got Albert Menenda showering once a month in a goddamn friggin' public washroom of Walgreens because that's the only access he has. And then you got cyan radar cell has a shower but refuses to shower. And then he got friggin' Prince of Piss, aka Prince of Fallen, with his stupid little friggin' quirk wearing a onesie and a goddamn diaper on it, and he's sitting there telling you that it's okay to friggin' fire off rocket deuces in his diaper and then friggin' rub against the mattress and jizz in it when he sees Darius Truxton play Sly Cooper too in tandem with this prick. And there's nothing he could do about it except cry on the internet. Get on, get on, get on the ranch, you stupid, you stupid pussy. <laughs> <laughs>
Get your ass up here, you piece of shit, Yeah. Get your ass up here, you piece of shit, Yeah. Get your ass up here, you piece of shit, Yeah. Get your ass up here, you piece of shit, Yeah. Get your ass up here, you piece of shit, Yeah. Get your ass up